السلام عليكم ورحمة الله في إطار رياضة وعلوم عملت حلقة بخصوص نظرية التطور وعبرت فيه على الرأي ديالي ولكن فيما بعد لقيت بأنني مضطر نزيد حلقة ثانية باش نجيب آراء علماء اللي هما ما تيأمنوش ما تيعتقدوش ما تيعترفوش بهذه النظرية هذه بين قوسين خرافة علمية هذا الفيديو هذا ماشي باش نغير الراي ديال شي واحد اللي هو تيعتقد في هذه النظريه هذا الفيديو الغرض ديالو هو ناكد داكشي اللي هضرت عليه في الحلقه السابقه نجيب اراء علماء وكاين واحد المساله التي تزعج هو ان الاشخاص الذين يتكلمون على نظريه التطور وتقدروا ديروا دوره في الويب العربي او المغربي غادي تلقاو انهم ما تيتكلموش على وجهه النظر الاخرى في حين هناك وجهات نظر اخرى هي تنسف تحطم لا تعترف بنظريه التطور وهناك عدد من الناس من هم يروجون لهذه النظريه فهم لم يدرسوا علم الهندسه الوراثيه بما فيهم مؤثرين على مستوى الويب بما فيهم ايضا اساتذه جامعيين ولو انك تسمع الشخص عنده دبلوم مهندس فهذا الشخص في الثانويه العامه مثلا لم يدرس علم الهندسه الوراثيه الدروس التي كانت تعطى في شعبه العلوم التجريبيه وهي تعطى حاليا في اطار علوم الحياه والارض واخر تلميذ في صفوف علوم الحياه والارض هو قرع علم الهندسه الوراثيه حسن من شارل داروين لقيته فاش داروين جاب النظريه ديالو لا ديين ما كانش معروف وكاين واحد العدد ديال صناع المحتوى اللي كيقدموا واحد المنتوج علمي نحترموه لان هناك مجهود مبذول على هذا المحتوى ولكن كاين فيهم اللي ما درسش علوم الحياه والارض كان اما سيونس مات بي ولا كان في ليسي تكنيك فدراسه هذه الاشياء على الاقل تعطي للشخص واحد الفكره باش تقدر تناقش معاه تعرف شنو هي موريتها شنو هو اداين شنو هي خريطه وراثيه كنقدروا نتناقشوا اما اللي بقينا كنهضروا على ما جاء به الاخرون ونتكلموا على الصور والحفريات وبعض المعلومات الجاهزه فنحن نناقش خارج الموضوع حيت كاين اللي يجي ويقول لي راه قريت البيولوجيا واعترف بالتطور نقول له الله يعاونك فانا فقط بغيت نقول ان هناك وجهات نظر اخرى وان مجموعه من الناس اللي كيروجوا الموضوع التطور فهم لم يدرسوا حتى المبادئ ديال علم الهندسه الوراثيه وحتى فاش كتكون كتناقش مع شخص تيقول لك جميع العلماء كيعترفوا بالتطور ولا ما اعترفتيش به فهذا في حد ذاته انتحار علمي وانت لا تؤمن بالعلم وهذه الحجه فهي حجه باطله لان هناك عدد كبير من العلماء لا يعترفون بالتطور بغاو فقط الكلمه ديالهم تسمع كيفهم عدد يعرض للتهميش للاقصاء وربما يوصلوا للطرد من العمل وهذه الوثيقة التي أمامكم على الشاشة جمعت علماء من العالم بأسره بالإمضاءات ديالهم علماء من درجة الدكتوراه لا يعترفون بالتطور وبغوا فقط الكلمة ديالهم تسمع I'm skeptical of the claim I'm skeptical I'm skeptical I'm We are skeptical of claims for the ability of random mutations and natural selection to account for the complexity of life. A careful examination of, of the evidence for Darwinian theory should be encouraged. Skeptical. 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 Skeptical of claims for the ability for the ability of random mutations and natural selection to account for the complexity. Complexity. The complexity. The complexity. To account for the complexity of life. Careful examination. 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 Of the evidence for Darwinian theory should be encouraged. من بين أشهر من يروج للتطور. Richard Dawkins. There are plenty of intermediate fossils, and one of the best examples is Wales. Here's a series of fossils back in time. عندما يعاد إلى لسانس في علم الحيوانات، ثم فيما بعد دار الماستر في الفنون وسالها بدكتوراه في الفلسفة. هذا الشخص هذا هو ليس صاحب اختصاص. الوقت فاش تطرح عليه سؤال دقيق بخصوص الجينات، كيف واحد الجينة ممكن أنها تدخل صفات جديدة وتتطور؟ شوف الجواب ديال داوكينز. ومن اكبر مروجي هذه النظريه كذلك هناك جاي جلود اللي هو كيتكلم على الحفريات بحكم انه عالم جيولوجيا والحفريات هو اكبر عكاز كيتكاو عليه صحاب التطور في حين ان هذه الحجه غير صحيحه لان جاي جلود براسو واحد الوقيته لقى ان هناك خصائص من حيث الحفريات وكما تكلمت عليه في الحلقه السابقه فاش كائن يتطور الى كائن اخر غتلقى واحد العدد كبير ديال الحفريات واسطه اللي خصو يكون وهذه المساله غير موجوده بتاتا 
So Darwin's theory of evolution is the idea that natural selection acting upon random variation is the primary mechanism that has driven the origin of new species over life's history. So Stephen Jay Gould was a prominent evolutionary paleontologist who acknowledged the lack of transitional forms in the fossil record. Jay Gould and Dawkins are friends of the scientists. The time for studying the genes and the studies and the studies in the experiment are three things that are the theory of evolution. In Darwin's day, we knew very little about cellular chemistry, for one thing. We knew very little about metabolism, how cells go about making the chemicals that they need to make the big, the big parts of, of living cells. Uh, we now understand that in, in some detail, and we also understand about the proteins that do the chemistry of life. These are called enzymes. We understand how large these enzymes are. We understand that they are encoded by genes and we understand how that encoding takes place. That's called the, the genetic code. So really, uh, you put all that together, we now understand something about digitally encoded information in cells, encoded in the genome. We understand why it's there to encode proteins, and we understand how the proteins function to do the chemistry of life. And we also have the ability to measure, to some degree, how much information is there. If you put all that together, we now see something that looks very much like um, human designs, where we use digitally encoded information to accomplish things, and we know that it's impossible to get information at, on that scale through a chance uh, process that, that Darwinism employed. <laughs> بدون دليل علمي صور على مستوى الصبورة ثم يشرح أشياء هي مجرد تخمينات فقط هو لدين في حد ذاته يحطم نظرية التطور ومشال به مثلا في كتابه داروين ديفولفز يتحدث عن انتليجن ديزاين التصميم الذكي للمخلوقات Darwin didn't know anything about the foundation of life. He and his contemporaries thought that the cell was a little piece of jello, protoplasm, they'd call it. And it was mysterious, you know, did cool stuff, but they didn't know how, so they pretty much ignored it. But uh, modern science has shown that it's, the cell is a lot like a ultra-sophisticated nanoscale factory. far far beyond anything that humans could produce so ila dawkins bihasabi huwa ana al kainat tatawar idhan fa kayfa bada'at awwal hayat fawq al ard al jawab dialu huwa kayn kainat fadaiya akthar tatawara min al insan rubbama bi teknoloji allati wasala ilayha ulai al fadaiyin ja'u ila al ard fi waqtin min al awqat bidaw fiha al hayat wa mshaw fi halajhum some earlier time somewhere in the universe a civilization evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet, possibility. Mm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look. كاين واحد الظاهرة طبيعية تم تشبيهها بالبيج بانك الانفجار العظيم تسمى الكامبرين اكسبلوجن الانفجار الكامبري العلماء كيفسروا بان في هذه الفتره من الفترات كان هناك ظهور وبزوغ لعدد كبير من البكتيريا والكائنات الحيه فوق الارض وهذه الفتره هذه من الزمن هي غير كافيه باش انها تعطينا التطور اللي تكلم عليه داروين من هنا يمكن استنتاج ان الكائنات الحيه خلقت ولم تتطور It's not enough time even to generate a few coordinated mutations let alone the the origin of these extraordinarily complex animals هناك عدد من الشباب من التلاميذ من الطلبه هو فقط يحفظ التطور بلا ما ينتقد هذه النظريه بلا ما يفكر فيها بلا ما يكون عنده واحد لي سبري كريتيك اي ان ايثيست اي يا اي ام ان ايثيست يا اي ام يس اي ام اي دونت بيليف ان ذا ذيز ا جاي ان ذا سكاي ذات ليفز ان ذا سكاي يو بيليف ان ايفولوشن اوف كورس اي دو يس سو يو نوت ان ايثيست ا نو سو يو لينينغ ذات واي بيكوز اوف ايفولوشن يا وات داروين شود از ذات وي دونت نيد تو انفوك any supernatural force or power to account for the development of life. Do you think it's a belief? I think it's just fact. I think more like facts. Do you think it's a belief? No, it's science. It's the way it happened. It's logical. You know, all the scientists pretty much agree with When did you start to believe? Um, when I started to think for myself. When did you start believing? 
uh, when I took my first biology class. I generally trust the scientific community. It makes more sense than any religion or anything. The fossils they have found of all the... I believe in science. What's your major here at this university? Biology. You're a biology mate? Yeah. Geology. Chemistry? Biochemistry. Environmental science and policy. I'm a physicist. Hey, do you believe in evolution? Uh, yes, I do. Do you believe in evolution? Yes, I do. Of course. Yes, I do. I do believe in evolution. Are you a strong believer? Yep. Uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Could you give me some observable evidence? I mean, take a look at what happened 65 million years ago. Hang on, I can't. That's 65. Can you think of any observable evidence for Darwinian evolution? Where he said there'd be a oh change my, of kind. Uh, monkey to a uh, man, is that where you believe there's any proof for that yet? Well, monkeys are the only ones with the fifth digit, like we have. Well, koalas have a fifth digit. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I think we're a connection that are out there that we haven't found yet. I'm going to trust what those experts did, those experts uh, came up with. I have a strong trust in evolutionary ideas based on the evidence presented. Can you think of any observable evidence for Darwinian evolution, a change of kinds? I haven't seen it myself, but I believe what the textbooks tell me about it, so... You've got faith in the experts? I have faith in the experts, yeah. I guess similar to how religious people have faith that God actually exists, I have faith in the experts knowing what they're talking about. The scientific method is, must be observable and repeatable, so could you give me one piece of observable evidence for Darwinian evolution? Okay, I would point to, as one great example is, look at the genetics of the stickleback. What's that? Uh, so stickleback fish are a very interesting collection of species that were recently isolated after the end of the Ice Age. What have they become? They're, they're various species of sticklebacks. They stayed as fish? Well, of course. Can you think of any observable evidence where there was a change of kinds? Fish. Human beings are still fish. Human beings are fish? Why, yes, of course they are. How long did that take? A couple of billions of years, millions. A couple of millions? How is that observable? It's not. We came out of the ground as a mammal, and one mammal created... Come out of the ground? Didn't we come out of the sea? Huh? Well, initially in the beginning, we came out of the ground and the sea. After the great destruction of the... the... So do we have lungs or gills when we came out of the sea? You want to know something? Those that were in the sea, I guess, had gills, and those that were on land had lungs. But if we came out of the sea, we had you gills want, in the sea. You want to know something? Who knows that we came out of the sea or we came out, we evolved from mammals? So you don't know? Huh? Of course I don't know. I'm accepting that they did their science correctly. Could you give me an example of Darwinian evolution, not adaptation or speciation, but a change of kinds? <laughs> These are changes of kinds. They're still fish. They're distinctly different fish. We have thousands of examples. Give me, can you give me one? I can give you, I can give you thousands, just one. one. For instance, I would say, uh, look at Lenski's experiments with bacteria then. So what do the bacteria become? Uh, the bacteria are still bacteria, of course. So that's not Darwinian evolution. That's not a change of kinds, is it? It, it is a change, it is a change in the genetic makeup of the bacteria, which but is still bacteria. So what do the bacteria become? Uh, a new kind of bacteria. It's still bacteria, there's no change of kinds. You said before that there, are, there is lots of evidence for evolution. I just want one observable evidence for Darwinian evolution, yeah, no, just one. But I gave you some, you don't want... Not some, I want one. Wait, you don't want that. That's I want one. Said, yes, I do, I'm pleading no, with you. Said, you asked me to tell you, you asked me to tell you when I've watched one species evolve into another, isn't that right? No, one kind into another. There's 14, is it 14 different definitions of species? So I want a change of a kind. It has nothing to do with faith. Faith is something that I have to, unseen, I have to believe in. That's it, unseen. Look, right. do you believe evolution? Of course I do. Are you a believer in evolution? Yes, I am. When did you start to believe evolution? I started to believe evolution when I started to think out for myself. Is evolution a belief? Evolu ev well, you know something, evolution is a, is a thought process, is, is coming to terms and, and, and checking out all the, alterna all the alternatives, like uh, taking a look at the, the religion, man-made religions. Let me ask you again, is evolution a belief? No, evolution is, well, yeah, in a, in a word, yeah, I could say it, it could be a belief. Give me one instance. Yes, we have an example from a group of birds called Darwin's finches. And you take a look at the difference between the finches on the islands that all started out. I mean, that's very, very observable. But that's not Darwinian evolution. There's been no change of kinds. What do the finches become? They become genetically new and anatomically new, recognizably different species. So they're still finches? Well, of course they're still finches, yes. They're not a change of, there's no change of kind. Little birds that he, uh, that he had observed that... Oh, what did they become? 
Um, they're beaks. They're beak shapes. They're, they're still covers. birds. Yes. Three finches that turn into different types of birds. Based they're on still the finches. Well, for example, Darwin and, and his study on evolution of uh, the birds on the island that he went on to there. Their beaks changed? Their beaks. Uh, but they're still birds. There's no change of kinds. That's within the kind. It's evolution on the beaks. That's so that's called adaptation. It's not Darwinian evolution. There's no change of kinds. There's no different animal involved. I want something that shows me Darwin's belief in the change of kinds is scientific. Observable evidence for Darwinian evolution with this change of kind. Uh, change of kind. Kind. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that one a little longer. That I can see, observe, test, and observe. Could you give me observable evidence, which is the scientific method? The Darwinian evolution, a change of kinds. I gotta think about it. <laughs> um. I cannot, I think. Um. Hmm. It's a hard question, actually. Mitochondrial DNA. Uh, let me think about that for a sec. Um, hmm. okay. Observable evidence, something where we don't have to exercise faith. Something that can be observed, like the scientific process, observable? Hmm, that's a good question. That one I'm not quite sure. So you can't think of any observable evidence for evolution? No. How do you know it's true? Hmm. I'm not sure. So Darwinian evolution is not observable, it's not scientific? I guess so. So it's unscientific, you can't prove it. It's scientific, actually. You could prove it. It could be proven, just... Do it for me. Ah, that's hard. I don't got... I don't... It's just... That's just too broad of a... Of it's unobservable. That's why you need millions of years. Yes, exactly. Well, you're yeah. trusting the biology majors and the biology professors know what they're talking about. Yeah. And, and they can't even give me a... They can't even give me evidence of a change of kinds. Well, I'm... Well, then there isn't one. If they don't give it, then I don't... I wouldn't say there was. Yeah. I just go on what I've seen and what I've learned from class. So you believe? Yeah. You know what that's called? What? Blind faith. Blind faith. <laughs>